Yes, she is indeed moving in the tree. She has now decided to go into another branch. A much higher branch. Well, maybe not much higher, but definitely higher branch. But um, I think maybe she's being a bit shy now and she's sleeping onto the other side. I wonder if leopards also prefer to sleep more on the one side than rather than the other one, just like us humans um, do. Carter, you are 12 years old and you're wondering if um, she would like, if she would sleep here the whole night. Um, likely not, I think she is going to be sleeping here for a while longer, but uh, leopards don't normally sleep all night like what we do. So I'm sure sometime during the night, she's probably, probably when the elephants are long gone, maybe she'll come down and there is a, a dam not too far from here, maybe she's gonna go and have a drink there. And if she's finished her kill, maybe she's just even gonna go somewhere else and start her next hunt. Hmm. Very sleepy. But you see, she's always alert. When the elephants make a very big noise, we can definitely see her ears moving around quite quickly. So, although sh I think maybe she's trying to sleep, but she knows all of these elephants are around here and the snapping and the twigs and them stumping on the ground, it's just keeping her quite awake. Hmm. You almost look like a Janet over there. See, so if she gets tired of this branch, she can go into the next one, because that one seems also quite comfortable. Lots of sleeping options for her tonight. And uh, always, of course, a tail hanging. I have tried sleeping like that and going up on a tree and just hanging like a leopard, but I don't find it comfortable. I really don't know how they do. Because they seem to sleep endlessly like that and like really really enjoy it because all the leopards when they go up a tree that's pretty much how they sleep. I wonder if maybe I'm just not wide enough. <laughs> Stevie, you'd like to know if leopard cubs sleep in the trees with their moms. Um, they can when they are younger and the mom is around. Sometimes if the mom has got a kill, you'll see all three leopards on top of the tree. But they won't sleep on top of the mom or curled up with the mom. It's very hard to keep balance of uh, while you're in the tree. So they can sleep close to each other, but they will not sleep uh, lightly touching each other. Just because it's a bit complicated. But uh, if they are on the ground and sometimes when the mom comes to a den and it's very, very cold or if they're hiding in very thick bush, then you can see them sometimes all curl curled up together and sleeping quite next to each other. But they won't normally just go and tuck themselves in into one another. They don't, I don't think they are as tolerant of everybody else's sleeping behavior as maybe sometimes lions are. A lot of the times you'll see lions, you know, resting their heads or their feet or their paws on top of another lion. I think leopards prefer to have a bit more space than that. Uh, Bryce, you're wondering if the elephants cannot smell the leopard. Um, no, I don't think they can because they've just, they've got a fantastic sense of smell and even when they were around here they didn't even put their trunks or at least I didn't see them putting up their trunks and smelling what was above them and likely had they smelled an elephant I reckon we would have gotten some sort of reaction out of them. Maybe, you know, they would have opened their ears or, you know, just raised their trunks and just, you know, when Ellie's are feeling like there's something they don't really like, they tend to raise their necks and their heads and, you know, kind of wander around and see what else there is. I think they've just pretty much gone past not really knowing that there's a potential or, you know, a deadly predator in the making up there. And they've carried on, not really bothered by her. I don't think they can smell her now. I mean, it is quite cold, so... I think maybe the air that's down here, because the cold air sinks, that's pretty much saturating what they are feeding upon and they seem to be quite happy to to 
carry on moving and haven't gone off too far, so I'm pretty sure they don't know that she's here. Huh. Thank you for facing us, that's very kind of you. I think she's even looking a bit grumpy now. <laughs> I think maybe she's just like, ah, oh, come on elephants, go up, I want to sleep now. Some peace and quiet. What is amazing though is that we can still hear many more eddies coming. I think we've had maybe now about 10 of them. Oh, look at that pretty face. She is done for the day. H.A., you're wondering what are the chances for a hyena to smell the kill? Um, well, there, there's a fair chance that they might smell if she's dropped any parts of the kill and if there's anything on the ground there's a good chance that they'll be able to to smell anything that's down there. She is quite high up and I'm not too sure if there are too many hyenas around this particular area but if they were to even hear her they would come back and just likely just wait at the bottom of the tree for, for the leopard to possibly drop down the kill. Seems like Shangile is in a very, very sound sleep. So let's go over to Taylor and see how her car towing adventure is going. <laughs> 